Hi, I'm Stuart Logan. I'm a paediatrician and a researcher. So we've been doing some work around recurrent abdominal pain in children. Truth is, I'm really interested in it because I had it when I was an adolescent. I had terrible pains in my stomach, which landed up with my normal appendix being removed by a surgeon who didn't realize that this was not really driven by appendix, but in fact by other kinds of probably stress-related problems. People don't realize just how common this is. It's about one in 10 of all the children we see in outpatients have recurrent pain syndromes, mostly tummy pain, but also headaches. It's really difficult to know how to treat it because at the moment, we don't have a lot of guidance on what the best thing to do is. So we were really interested to try and find out what the really good evidence was to help pediatricians decide what to do. So we went out and we found all the well done trials we could in the whole world of different treatments that have been proposed by different people. So what did we find? We found a lot of trials, about 55 trials. Unfortunately, they weren't that great in quality. So to be frank, we still don't know exactly what to do. Some things did look promising. So some of the psychological treatments around CBT looked a bit promising, as did hypnotherapy, and probiotics looked promising. But the evidence isn't really good enough for us to know which strain of probiotics or exactly how to do the CBT or anything else. It's very clear that there are some things that clinicians can think about doing, but we really do need to get the really definitive research done.